scientists, we are going to be learning about light. How does light help us see? That's the big question today. How does light help us see? Now you ask me, how does light help, light help us see? Okay, so check this out. There are two sources of light. There is natural light and artificial light. So natural light is the sunshine outside. That is natural light. Can you guys say natural light? Natural light. Or there's artificial light, like lamps around your house, or some that are in the ceiling, or uh, flashlights or candles. Those are artificial sources of light because people make them so that they make light. So they're artificial. Say artificial. Good job. So we have natural sources of light and we have artificial sources of light. Now light bounces off of objects and that's how we see them. So if the sun is out and there's a car on the street going by, the sun bounces off. Its light bounces off of the car and it lights up the car so that we can then see the car traveling by. So everything around us during the daytime we can see because there is light bouncing off of those things. Now at nighttime, if you're up in the mountains, and there is no moon and no sun and it is nighttime. There's no light to bounce off of objects. You can't see anything. If you have a flashlight, you can only see that little part because that's the light that is bouncing off of things. That's all that you can see. In a house at night, we have to turn on the lights and then that artificial source of light will bounce off of the floor, the table, our book, so that we can see it. So, natural light, artificial light, sources, sources of light. I don't know if I said that right, but the natural sources of light or the artificial sources of light make those light beams, they bounce off of things, and that is how we see. All right, so stay tuned. Now I'm going to read to you our science book all about light. Light. What helps us see in the dark? Light. Light helps us see people and objects in our world. Light is very important. Light is a form of energy. All light has to come from somewhere. The place that light comes from is called a source. The sun is a natural light source. The sun produces most of the light that we use in our everyday lives. Light energy can come from artificial sources too. Artificial light is light made by people or machines. Light bulbs and lamps create artificial light that we use to see. Can you think of something else that creates artificial light? All light travels from its source in light waves. Light waves travel just like sound waves. When a light wave hits an object, it bounces off or reflects off the object. This allows our eyes to see it. Light can pass through objects. A piece of glass is transparent or clear. Light can easily pass through transparent objects like glass. There are also objects that light cannot pass through, like a wall, for example. We describe those types of objects as opaque. Opaque means that you can't see through it and light cannot pass through. Opaque is the opposite of transparent. Sometimes light can be blocked. If an opaque object gets in the way of a light wave, it can block the light and cause a shadow to form. These people are opaque. Their bodies block the light and create a shadow behind them. Sometimes light can partially pass through things. When this happens, the light waves can refract or change direction. This can make the objects look different to you. Telescopes, binoculars, 
magnifying glasses, and microscopes use refraction to make objects look different than they normally appear. Many living things on Earth need light to survive. Plants need light in order to make food. People and animals need light to keep their bodies warm and to help them see. Light is very important. If we didn't have light, we wouldn't be able to see all of the beautiful people, places, and things around us. How does light help us see? So we read about light. I read the science story to you so we could learn a little bit more about light. Light has some bigger vocabulary words. So um, at the beginning of your light and sound packet, there's all the words that we're learning in this section. But also if we flip over, we did lesson six, if we flip past lesson six, there's this page that says transparent, translucent, and opaque. And I put it here so that you guys would have it for a quick reference. So remember, transparent, a window is transparent. A clear glass is transparent. This bowl we used to watch the salt vibrate and make, because the bowl was making sound, it's pretty much transparent. A transparent thing is something light can pass through. Translucent is something where some light can, can pass through. Maybe you have um, some drinking glasses that are a blue color of grass, grass, a blue color of glass, or a green or red color of glass, where you can see the liquid line, but you can't see it clear because it's a different color. Or maybe there are some windows in your house, like in the shower or bathroom, and they have a coating on them. So you can see light, but you can't see things clearly. That's something that's translucent. Something that is opaque, no light can pass through. The walls in your house are opaque. People walking by on the street cannot see through the walls, unless they have superpowers, but that's a story for Aiden to tell us later, right? Um, opaque, let's see. I can't see you. I really can't. That must mean the out of tune ukulele is also opaque. So transparent, translucent, and opaque. Now that we have those words down, or maybe just practiced a little bit, let's turn the page. The next page is an activity to do in regards to light. So you're gonna use a light in your house, like a light bulb, like a desk lamp, a lamp somewhere in your house and see what you can find. You don't have to do all of these because you might not have them around your house. And since we're not in class this week, you know, if we were in class all together, I would have all these and we would do this together. But I want you to do this on your own. So, you know, if you don't have one of these, that's okay. Just write, don't have it. You're gonna find these items, a sandwich bag, foil, box of crayons, tissue paper, cup, book, wax paper, plate, colored plastic lid, block. Find the items, put them in something, maybe put them in a bowl or something, and take them to a light in your house that you can get pretty close to. So again, a lamp, or maybe there's a light in your bathroom, I don't know, whatever works. Hold the item up to the light and then think, can I see any light coming through this item? Let's see, can I see light coming through a sandwich bag? The ones I have, I can see light. Is the sandwich bag transparent? Is it translucent or is it opaque? If you're forgetting what they are, the pictures should help on the page, but again, that's why I put it right there. All right. So go through all of these and check what the item is. Have fun scientists using your sense of sight to figure out if things are translucent, transparent, or opaque. Hi scientists, can you guys grab your light and sound book?
Press pause until you have it. All right, so you're gonna shuffle through the pages until you find the one that says shadows. It's on the back of the light project that you guys already did. To do this page, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a flashlight and an opaque object. I'm gonna use my trusty out of tune ukulele. So with the object and your flashlight, you are gonna play with shadows. And then you'll decide, can you change the shadow's shape by moving the light source? So you'll prop your object up and then you'll figure out how to make a long shadow and a short shadow using the flashlight. So you'll have your object and then you'll shine it. So you can't do it outside where I am because I it's daytime. I can't see shadows very well right now, but if you're in a, in a darker room, you should be fine. So you'll have your object and move the light around to see what will make the shadow long and what will make the shadow short. And then you're going to illustrate it on the page. And then tell, did you make the shadow change or did it stay the exact same? Enjoy scientists, I can't wait to see what you discover. Hey scientists, we've come to the end of lesson seven. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. So what we're gonna do to review is we're gonna find the lesson seven page and go through it. This is in the light and sound book. So find your light and sound book and find the light page. It's by the shadow activity we did. Find the light page, press pause, and then press play once you're on this page. All right. I'm assuming you have it now. So what you're going to do on this page is, first, you will slowly trace each word. It says one of the very important light vocabulary words we have learned. And then the sentence says what it means. So it's a way to practice the vocabulary and get it into your brain so you remember it. There's a picture to go with it vocabulary word with a definition. Trace the word and then read it all together. Trace the word, read it all together. Trace the word, read it. Trace the word, read it. Trace the word and read it. Then three quick check questions. Put true or false. And if you need a grown up in your house to read the questions to you, then do it whenever you guys can. When you're done with this page, go ahead and post it on Seesaw. There will be a prompt on our Seesaw page that says Science Lesson 7. Can't wait to see what you discover, scientists.